<laughs> oh, hey, Yellow Pop. Let's go around the house. So this is my yellow pop neon light that I designed. Um, like any self-respecting gay man, I dreamed of a home full of um, sculptures of bursts and bums. So I designed this um, in my favorite colors, pink and green, with blue with a little bit for the shadow of the archway. I love it so much. As soon as I got it, I just like screamed <laughs> the street down because it's just completed my home and it just brings this like corner of the kitchen to life. So this is the master bedroom. It's the most understated room, I think, in the house. So this is an allocated Sabrina. Um, they're quite difficult to look after, but if you give it a daily spritz, they survive really well. This is probably my favorite art piece in the house. I actually bought it from TK Maxx and I wrote over it in graffiti pen. So I worked on this wallpaper mural with the brand Lust Home. I wanted to try and use wallpaper in a way that felt um, new and modern and not too over the top. So this is probably the most ambitious ceiling in House Homo. Um, it actually started out as just two tiny little semicircles and grew and grew and got bigger and bigger. And I absolutely love it. I designed it because when you um, stay over at a friend's house and you wake up earlier than them, you always just spend time just like lying in bed and this way they've got something nice to look at. Probably one of the weirdest things in the house is this little window. Um, it's designed to bring light into the upstairs landing, um, but I wanted to make a full feature of it, so I made this little stagey curtain, so it's a full moment. A fun way to bring colour into the space is to use it on the walls, so I found this coloured mirror planter and I built a whole mural around it so it has its own little like capsule within the room. This is probably my proudest DIY in the house. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace and it, apparently it was used by a troupe of traveling actors in Mexico. Um, so I bought it, painted it, added some legs, and then I drilled into it and plumbed in my sink. So a lot of people ask why I use so many plants in my bathroom and in my designs in general. What I like to say is that they um, soften the edges of a design in a room. But in a bathroom, the plants love it because they love the humidity and it just makes it feel like a little tropical jungle every time you have a shower. So this is my favourite fluffy chair. Um, I love sitting on here up an evening, scared with a wine in case I spill anything on it. This is my cockatoo, her name is Cordelia. And I actually painted this circle on the fireplace for something else. And then I just popped her on there for a second and she just belonged there. And I haven't been able to move her since. So I created this mural with some chalk wash paint with the brand Rustolium. I was inspired by like the ruins of Atlantis and Greece and, and the design movement retrofuturism. So I picked the colour story for this room and I actually started on the fireplace. So I painted it with all the different colours on the different panels and then I built the rest of the room around it and just treated it as one whole giant mural. It was my lockdown three project, so it took me like five weeks, um, but I loved every second of it with a glass of wine. So this is the door to my creepy basement, but we're not going down there today. And this is my lifesaver. Through lockdowns, I just spent most evenings just playing piano. So this was the first piece of furniture I bought before I moved in. Um, it was actually all black and I've later painted it. And what I didn't realize when I bought it was that it has two HHs on it for House Homo. So it knew before I did.